North Carolina. Laura, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead. Let's give it a shot. Hey, Michael. I wanted to congratulate you on your new book, A Time for War. And Thank you. I ask you if there are any steamy, romantic sex scenes in it, like the other one had. <laughs> yes, Laura. Did you read the sex scenes in The Abuse of Power? Yes, I did. That was your best book so far, and I've read many of them. I've been a fan of yours since. Well, of course, I don't put any sex scenes in, in my political books because if I did, I don't think anybody would be interested. But look, if I'm writing a novel and there are men and women in it, wouldn't it be logical that once in a while some of them would sleep with each other given the world we live in? After all, they're not Islamists. Of course it's logical, but some people... I mean, if they, were, if they were Islamists, they would cut each other's throats. But since they're Americans, they usually have a drink and go to bed with each other. <laughs> I had a lot of people, a lot of people criticized me. They said, oh, you shouldn't have put those sex scenes in the other book. Uh, they were very tasteful. Remember, I didn't use any dirty words. Is that correct? That's correct. See, in other words, there's a way to create, a, a, write a scene about passionate sex without getting graphically pornographic. And that, that's what I achieved in the first novel because I'm such an excellent writer. So without giving it away, there's a scene here where the new, in this novel, Jack lives on the, on the yacht in uh, Sausalito, the sea writer, with his dog, Eddie, as he did in the first book, right? Uh -huh. But he comes back one night and there's a, well, Jack cradled the dog, his eyes went to the blue-eyed blonde standing behind him. Maybe it was his overtired mind, but there was a dreamy quality to the young woman. She was wearing an NYU sweatshirt and jeans. She was barefoot. Her open face had a friendly, welcoming quality that put him instantly at ease. It wasn't until then that he realized how tense he still was. Dover said, hi. Hi, Jack. Anyway, you see, it begins there. Her scent reached in them, something fruity, apricot, apricot and woman. A yip from Eddie informed Jack that he had stopped scratching. See what I'm saying? It starts nice, then they have a couple of drinks. She's a big part of the plot. She works for Naval Intelligence, but they fired her because she seems to think that there are Chinese agents in America about to launch something on America, and they fire her. So her and Jack get together to try and abort the mission. And you have her wearing perfume? I thought you didn't like perfume. Well, I, I'm not Jack. Jack likes perfume. I hate it. Stay on the line. I'll send you a time for war.